welcome viewers our topic today is daily care routine performing scheduled activities in the entire day with focus on afternoon please note that this is module 2 unit 2 of your prescribed syllabus i am professor karunesh saxena vice chancellor sangam university bhilwada rajasthan our learning points for today are as follows first the theory learning outcomes here we'll discuss how to assist in various activities of daily living of an elderly person such as eating etc but in the afternoon second is to explain the ways of assisting elders with their personal hygiene such as manicure pedicure skin care hair care etc third and finally assisting the elderly with prayer and promoting better sleep at the night time there are certain practical learning outcomes also to demonstrate the appropriate ways of organizing the rooms of the house including wardrobes for the elderly person keeping them well organized next is to demonstrate dusting sanitizing and cleaning up the living space chairs beds etc utensils tools and appliances so friends let us begin with the first segment which are activities of daily living from noon until night so first we have to develop an understanding as to what are these activities when we talk about activities of daily living from noon until night one of the most important activity during the afternoon time is the lunch preparation and eating so as an elderly caregiver you should be providing assistance in a preparation of nutritious lunch according to dietary needs and preferences sometimes help them with feeding if necessary post lunch siesta are very important so next is rest and relaxation activities that promote relaxation such as reading listening to music enjoying a hobby ensuring comfortable resting area please ensure that immediately after taking lunch they should not lie down they should not go to bed for afternoon nap next is social engagement or activities arranging social activities or engaging in hobbies to prevent isolation like outings visits from friends or family next is mobility and exercise light physical activity or mobility exercises to maintain flexibility and strength in the body short walks or engage in seated exercises that can also be possible because nowadays chair yoga is quite possible so friends next is medication management prescribed medications scheduled for the afternoon or evening medications with food or water as necessary as prescribed by the physician so these are some of the activities of daily living from noon until night proceeding further during the early evening time the elderly people may have need for eating light snacks so snacks and hydration is another activity healthy snacks and also to encourage adequate hydration throughout the afternoon to maintain energy levels these elderly people may forget to drink water but you have to ensure that they are regularly supplied with drinking water so that they remain th hydrated throughout the day next is personal care and hygiene toileting needs or personal hygiene required by them has to be taken care of helping them with changing clothes or freshening them up if necessary that can also be part of your job responsibility then comes dinner preparation and helping them in eating 
So assisting in preparing evening meal that is dinner considering the dietary needs and preferences. Also provide assistance with eating if and when required. Next is evening routine. Assisting them with any bedtime preparations such as changing into night wear or preparing for sleep. The sleep area should also be comfortable and conducive to rest. Next is review of day and care plan. Reflect on the day's activity, interactions and any concerns to communicate with others. So review the care plan for the next day to ensure a smooth transition. Support during night. Assisting in toileting or regular check during night time as per the prescribed medical conditions. Now we move on to the second segment that is assisting with personal hygiene such as manicure, pedicure, skin care and hair care. So friends, let us first begin with our activities such as manicure and pedicure. We all know that this is also very important from the point of view of personal hygiene to regularly put focus on manicure as well as pedicure. So gather necessary tools such as nail clippers, filers, cuticle pushers and moisturizers. Ensure a comfortable seating position for the elders providing support if needed. Trim nails carefully following their natural shape and avoiding cutting too short to prevent discomfort or injury. Gently file nails to smooth rough edges. Push back cuticles if desired or needed. Being careful not to cause any pain. Apply moisturizers to hand and feet to keep the skin hydrated all the times. Next is skin care. Use mild fragrance free cleansers suitable for their skin type. Assisting them with washing their face, ensuring gentle motions and patting the skin dry. Apply moisturizers to prevent dryness and irritation especially in areas prone to dry skin. Use sunscreen when going outdoors to protect their skin from harmful ultraviolet rays. Next is hair care. Use gentle mild shampoos and conditioners suitable for their hair type. Assisting them with washing their hair, ensuring to rise. So as an elderly caregiver, you should assist them with washing their hair, ensuring to rinse thoroughly to avoid any residue. Please take precaution that the shampoo does not affect their eyes. Use a soft towel to pat their hair dry. Gently and avoid vigorous rubbing of their hairs because they are fragile. Assisting them with combing or brushing hair using white toothed combs or soft brushes to prevent tangles and any kind of discomfort to the elderly people. Moving further, now we talk about different aspects when assisting elders with personal hygiene, following points are very important. These four points are number one, communication. Always communicate with them throughout the process, asking them if they are comfortable or if they need any kind of adjustments. Secondly, privacy and dignity. Respect their privacy 
by maintaining discretion and ensure a pri private setting for them. Third point to be taken care of is comfort. Prioritize their comfort throughout the process, adjusting positions or methods as needed. Regularly ask them that are they comfortable or not. And finally, the patience because you know that these elderly people may take longer time to perform activities. So take your time, especially if they have mobility issues or they require any extra care. Now we come to the third and final segment, assisting them with prayer and promoting better sleep. So at the night time, when they are getting ready for sleeping, then first you assist them with the prayer. Respect their beliefs. You should understand what kind of religious practices they follow. Understand their religious or spiritual beliefs. Support their routines according to their preferences. Don't impose your personal wishes. Provide support to them. Help them find a quiet and comfortable space for prayer. Offer physical support if needed. Assisting them with different kinds of preparations such as arranging prayer rugs, religious texts or any other necessary items which may be required for prayer. Respect privacy. Ensure privacy and create a conducive atmosphere for prayer without interruptions. Finally, encourage consistency. Assist in establishing a regular private routine if desired with the necessary support to follow through. Now, what kind of activities which are required to be done before putting them to bed, before letting them sleep? First is establish a bedtime routine. It is always a good practice that you develop a schedule, a timetable for them that at the it is necessary that you prepare a consistent bedtime routine to signal the body that it is time to wind down and go to bed. Assisting them with activities that promote relaxation before bedtime such as reading, gentle scratching or listening to the calming meditational music can be helpful. Creating a comfortable sleep environment, ensuring that the sleep area is comfortable, quiet and conducive to sleep, adjust lighting, temperature, etc. to suit their requirements. Encourage regular sleep patterns, help them maintain regular sleep and wake times to regulate their body's internal clock and it is always good for their health. Next is to limit stimulants and heavy meals before bed. Encourage them to avoid caffeine, heavy meals and other stimulating activities close to bedtime because it can interfere with their sleep. Monitor and address sleep related issues. Be attentive to any sleep problems or discomfort they might experience and address them accordingly. This might involve consulting with their healthcare professionals. Encourage daytime activity. Promote moderate physical activity during daytime so that they can get better sleep at night. Providing emotional support. Sometimes we can provide emotional support so that they can get good sleep without any disturbance or anxiety. Finally, consultant healthcare providers if the sleep problems persist. Encourage them to seek help from healthcare professionals and for, so that they can have proper guidance from them for getting better sleep. Dear friends, in this particular program, we have been talking about what kind of assistance you can provide to the elderly people in their activities of daily living 
from noon until night. We have discussed various activities which they require to perform in the afternoon period. Then in the second segment, we talked about how we can assist them with personal hygiene such as manicure, pedicure, skin care, hair care, etc. In the finally, the third segment, we have understood how we can assist the elderly people with prayer and promoting better sleep. So various kind of precautions and steps that you can take so that they can have good uninterrupted and better quality sleep. Thank you.